a big uh, challenge in front of us tonight. Did he give you like a, a record you you want at home or you know like a 35 win home team something like that? Uh, no, nah, he didn't uh, specifically state any numbers, but uh, I'm pretty sure that <laughs> in a perfect world, we like to go undefeated at home, right? But it's hard to win in the NBA, so um, we're just going to do our best, but you got to start off with the first game, you know, step one first. And so uh, tonight, this is what we're uh, worried about tonight. What do you, do you view your role on this team shifted at all from, from last year, or does it feel pretty similar? Um, I think it's similar in what uh, the team wants from me, what Steve wants from me. Um, I think it's pretty uh, clear what I bring to the table and what I can do. Obviously, we got a lot more bodies, a lot more backs, a lot more options, and uh, uh, that's pretty clear to see as well. So uh, I just, you know, take what they give me for now and uh, try to maximize that. And, you know, <clears throat> it's a long season. Injuries happen, trades happen. Um, Sometimes guys aren't playing their best or whatever, in my case as well. So I think it's gonna be changing every game. Um, I mean, that's out of my control. So uh, I just come to work every day and, you know, I eat what I'm given. You guarded Davis the other day, LeBron, Carmelo at times. Uh, you know, they probably throw you on some guards too if needed. Um, is there a type of, of player you prefer defending more, the bigger post-up guy, you know, how do you view those types of matchups? To be honest, if I could pick, I like to defend point guards better. Um, just because I like pressure in the ball. I think that's uh, one of my biggest advantages, being physical, uh, long, and quick. Um, but, you know, I'm able to guard uh, one through four, some fives. And so uh, I'm not going to be picky, man. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm still trying to establish myself in this league and still trying to establish myself on this team. Uh, last year has come and gone. Uh, this is a new year. Like I said, we got a lot more bodies. We got vets who've been who've proven. You know, Otto's been in this league for nine years, shooting 40%. Belly's been in this league for X amount of years. And so, um, you know, it, it is what it is. So uh, I'm happy about it, though. You know, we got a deeper team, uh, a more complete team. I think we got a good shot at uh, competing for a championship. And at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. I want to win a championship. So I'm not too concerned with uh, my minutes and, you know, how much I play. Like I said, I just try to maximize when I'm out there. Wherever Steve feels comfortable putting me out there, whether it's guarding, you know, Chris Paul or it's guarding uh, Nikola Jokic or whoever, you know, I'm just going to try to be effective there. What's it been like for you up close facing that type of stuff last year where, you know, you're kind of, you know, I can watch Davis and, and Chris Paul and see the differences, but you're guarding, the, you know, all the different, you know, big time players in the league. I mean, what's that experience been like? Uh, it's fun. I mean, I still come into this building every day, uh, happy to be here. You know, I'm not satisfied, but I'm very thankful for the opportunity. Uh, I have a lot of friends that I grew up with who are either dead, or I got friends who are in jail. Uh, I got friends who are, you know, just walking aimlessly through life. And I'm blessed to have something to hold on to, which is this basketball. Uh, so with all that being said, man, it's really exciting. I mean, it's a part of the experience. And, you know, these are guys I watched on TV. Um, Growing up, Melo, Bron, Rajon Rondo, those guys, I, you know, I admire those guys. You know, those, are, those are great players, those are legends to me, you know. So uh, it, it's a cool experience, man, and, and I just take it every day, and I'm very thankful that I'm able to play this game for a living. What, what's the trick to being a, a smaller defender in the post against Davis, or, you know, you mentioned Jokic, those kind of guys? Uh, it's the NBA, man. Guys are, you know, these are the best at what they do. They're professionals. They practice these moves, these shots, you know, a thousand times a day. I watch Steph work on the same moves every single day. So uh, the best thing you can do is just make it tough. And I think <clears throat> as a defender, it's uh, more predicated on your attitude towards defending, you know. So I just get in there and try to bang with those big guys. I get in there and try to pressure the guards, you know, just make it tough for them, disrupt them. Um, a lot of this stuff is rhythm. So you let guys get into their bag, get into their rhythm take practice shots, then it's going to be a long night for you. So I just try to do my best to make it tough for those guys. When you uh, said you were gaining 10 pounds to uh, cover more fives, was that your decision alone or you made it with Steve or was there a collaboration? Uh, when I said that, I was up like 13 pounds from my usual weight, but my weight's always fluctuating. So um, I'm probably down a few pounds from that point in time. So I'm probably like plus six, plus seven right now. But that was... Uh, Oh, more so a, a team goal. I mean, everybody collectively, you know, uh, 
I know my role. So, uh, like I said, we all wanted Juan to be more effective in Garvin. And, uh, so I wanted to be able to bang with those guys like Ann Davis, you know, Dwight Howard and those guys. And so uh, collectively, we all spoke about that. And that's been something that uh, it's been a team effort trying to, you know, for me trying to maintain my weight. Also, um, uh, yesterday, Steve mentioned how the structure of practices have changed this year for the better. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about that with the group rotations and things like that? Uh, I'm new to this. You know, last year was my first year doing this, so that was, I don't really have a routine yet. I just kind of do what I do and get ready for the games, get ready for practice, but I like it. I mean, like, I'm not very picky, man. I'm a low maintenance guy. I'm here to play basketball, I'm here to have fun, and here to enjoy this everyday blessing that I have. So it's cool with me. Let's go. Chris on Zoom. Hi, Juan. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, what do you imagine the atmosphere to be like tonight with the crowd, when the lights go down, the starting lines, when the music goes on? Can you describe that feeling in tonight with a packed house? What do you think it's going to be like? Uh, I think it's going to be inexplicable. Um, <clears throat> it's fun, man, to see the fans there sitting courtside and all that stuff, you know, being able to uh, interact with them, seeing the energy, you know, uh, there's kids out there that, you know, I talk to sometimes just because like, I remember when I was a kid, like what it meant to me, you know, to be able to come to a professional game uh, and just have like the slightest interaction with a, you know, a professional athlete. So uh, it goes both ways, man. I'm sure they're really excited and, you know, we're just as excited. So I hope they come with a lot of energy. Hopefully we can pull out a win, you know, put on a show for, for these uh, fans. All right, Christos and then James, and we'll finish up. Hello, Juan. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Um, what do you like most about this team this season? And how it was a kind of a statement about your potential to win uh, Los Angeles two days ago. What was the second part? I'm sorry. It was a kind of a statement for you to win in Los Angeles about your potential as a team this season. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things to be excited for. Uh, like I said, we're a really deep team. You know, we got 12, 13, I think all the way to 15 guys, you know, that can uh, come in any night and play. So that's really exciting. I mean, the good balance of young guys and vets. Um, I'm really excited to learn from Andre. Uh, I know we talk about that a lot, but uh, he, he just has a lot of knowledge to share on and off the court. <clears throat> Um, and I'm also really excited for, you know, the rest of my teammates, everybody to take a step forward in their career. Uh, myself personally, from a selfish standpoint, like I'm just happy to be in the league still. So um, there's a lot to be excited for. And for the first game, I'm just one game at a time. You know, you can't think about, you know, playoffs or March or anything like that until you get through your first game. And so, and then the second game and so on. So uh, I think every game is important. Um, and I think everybody understands that. So, and obviously on the road at Staples against uh, one of the more hyped teams going through the summer. Um, that was really fun. The, like I said, the ambiance was really cool. A lot of celebrities in the building. Uh, so yeah, it's exciting. All right, go ahead, James. Juan T, James Hill with BNC Sports. Uh, you guys took care of the Lakers the other night at Staples. This opportunity up next, uh, the Clippers come up. Uh, just talk about going in and playing at home in front of your fans and, and just looking for a W the Dubs way. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it was fun to play in LA, but I think it's gonna be a lot more fun to play here. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, playing at home is always fun. Uh, I love playing in Chase. I love playing in front of Dub Nation. Um, I, I can't speak for anybody else, but I think it's just a little more special for me just because I get to play in front of my friends and family um, and every, game, somebody new coming to a game, you know, friends and family alike. So uh, that, on that standpoint, that's what I'm most excited for. And then like, I obviously playing in front of Dub Nation. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. Appreciate it, Juan. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Juan. Oh, Staples. Staples, my old school.